Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little skinny purse and it's got magnets. Um, I'm using magnets in this one. If you're giving this to a child or somebody with a pacemaker, don't put magnets on it. Use Velcro buttons or dots or something. But it's just lovely. You can put some little treats in there, maybe a gift voucher or something. I don't know, tea bags, little treats. Just lovely. And I just wanted to make a nice little purse with my birds on it. And I, and I'm... I've done these all with um, blends, so I'm going to do the same again, but obviously in a different colourway. This one is Blushing Bride with lovely lipstick as the DSP and the blends on here. I'm going to do a slightly different one, so let me pop that out to one side. Need a piece of cardstock that measures, I don't know, because all 13 and a half, 15 and a half and 27. Um, part score, it. Oh, let me do the bottom bit first. Score on the short side at three quarters of an inch and five and a half inches. Metric, that's two and 14. We do need to get a score line going down here. So you want to score down to about the six inch mark. So about 15 centimeters. So part score it at three eighths of an inch. It's a very small bit. Oh. And at five and five eighths, one, two, three, four, five, six, five and five eighths. I need to change that down to, a, again, the six inch mark. So just roughly down to about there. So that's one centimetre, 14 and a half. Uh, yes, one centimetre, 14 and a half. And I need to change these. That's my pen. Ah, where's my good pen? There it is. I've written five and seven eighths, and that should be five and five eighths. Okay. So, let me get everything burnished. Oh no, I need to put in these score lines as well. Ugh, switch my brain on, Samantha. So, with this part score, I'm going to do a line from there, there to there on both of them. Now I can burnish my score lines, but you can see what I've done there first. Okay. Don't worry about burnishing the parts scored lines at this point. We'll, we don't need to burnish them at all, actually. They will form naturally when the bag pulls together. Isn't purple posy just the most beautiful colour? It's quite, it's up there with um, Wisteria Wonder, which is much beloved and long retired colour, but not as grey. It's more, there's more blue in this one than that one was. Okay, let's start at the bottom first and then I'm going to come to the top afterwards. And first thing you need to do this little rectangle down here. Get that one away. And then these here, cut up the straight and just nip, notch a little bit in to that square there. And the same on this one. Right, so now we need to establish where the back is. This thin pal, we've got a thin pal and we've got one with a score line, that is going to wrap around and the seam is going to be there so that means this is the front, okay, but we want to fold over from the back so we need to keep this one, so the one closest to the single line, furthest from this double scored line, this is the one to keep, so I'm going to need a bigger pair of scissors. So again, get rid of that rectangle and the whole lot is going to go, although we're going to use a teeny tiny bit of it again in a minute. If you're brave like me, go straight in for scissors, if not, use your trimmer. Ugh. 
Oh, I didn't go far enough. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hang on to that bit because I need that shortly. Come along and round these corners. And that one. And I'm going to start putting on my designer series paper. What I've got are two pieces and I've gone a shade darker. So this is Highland Heather. There are two pieces and they are the same size, uh, four and a quarter by two and a quarter, 11 by five and a half centimetres. One's going to sit at the bottom of the panel and the other one's going to come over and wrap round. So I need to round the corners. And if you're using this scripted DSP, make sure your scripting is going in the right direction and then round the bottom corners. And then you know that it will be fine. So I'm going to get that bit on first. Okay, that's onto there. And again, it's going to come and wrap over. So I now need to put this panel at the bottom. I could have gone all the way up. I didn't want to use up all my beautiful paper. <laughs> and this uses less than one sheet. And if I'd gone all the way up, I'd have gone into two sheets. And I'm, I didn't want to do that. Okay, right. So those panels are on. I'm going to put some tear and tape along here. Fold it over. So that is the front, this is the back. So those two sides, tuck them in and the back in. I'm going to put some more tear and tape on here. And fold that over to close. And what will happen now, when you push these bits in where we scored those lines, we do one side at a time, it will all pull together and these creases will come in naturally as well. So, and that's going to fold over. Now, the next thing to do is get magnets in place. These are neodymium. 8mm by 1mm. They are tiny, they're thin. Um, if you get them too close to one another, they will snap and break. I believe, yeah, I've got a breakage in there and a breakage there, but this is my stack and they stick to, um, they actually stick to my wall because I've got sloping walls and the joists, uh, the metal joists are right, right by my desk. So they stick to my wall like that. But take a mini glue dot, put it in the corner, and press firmly. Let's grab another one. And they've just snapped themselves to my ruler. They will stick to anything. And then this is the excess bit. The little half inch circle. We're going to punch four of these out. And also use quite a lot of glue dots. And I haven't even started colouring yet. Somebody did say they'd happily enjoy a longer video from me. I think that's going to be today. Right, so I'm pressing those on firmly. Now, let's detach those from my ruler. Take another one, snap it on, and then you know that your poles are the right way. And one there as well. Oh, it's well and tricky. <laughs> Another mini glue dot on there, and I'm just going to do one side first. Press firmly and gently peel apart. And that's in place now with the poles again the correct way round. And a circle over the top. The circle is to take out some of the strength. I mean, these are so strong. I'm sure I could, you know, attach them to my children in some way and stick.
stick them to my ceiling. Um, but they are so strong that actually they can tear your projects. So as well as disguising them with these tabs, with these circles, it does take some of the strength out and it means that you can just open and close easily without any drama. Right, okay, stage one done. Let's do the next stage. So I've got my free as a bird, beautiful stamp set. Love it, love it, love it, love it so much. And I'm gonna get a big old block. I'm gonna get my memento, which I forgot to get out. Everything is fortunately in very handy here. My technique with memento is to twist it, then tap. Then I know it's well covered. Beautiful. And then I need my nested stitch label guys. So these are part of the bundle. And there are all these fantastic nesting layers. So, I don't know which size I want, actually. I want that one. Oh no, I need the next size up. That one. Oh look, the magnets are sticking to that too. Pop that off to one side. You're my die cutter. So, I've got magnetic platform, clear plate, card stock down. And I'm going to line this up. Put the plate over the top and send the whole lot through. And back again. I'm sorry, my charms are jingling. So that's the one done. Righty ho, so let's zoom in and do some colouring. So I've got the blends I've got here. I've got my purple posy pair. I've got my call me clover pair. I've got a single, what colour is this one? Light flirty flamingo and a light crumb cake. And they will all do different bits. So, um, I'm going to do my four birds first and so I'm going to take my light um, purple posy and it looks very pink at first. Trust me it's not. So I'm going out round the outside avoiding the beak and then I'm going to come with the darker one and just round the edges. in with my light and start moving that colour about. Back round the edge again with the dark. Again in with the light. And finish off in the tummy and then you get the gradient of colour and that will settle itself down and become very purple posy and you'll be able to see I hope by the time I finish the fourth there will be quite a difference in colour between the first and the fourth because like I say right now it is looking very pink but it's not it does go purple posy keep going this is lovely. I do thoroughly enjoy working with blends. I didn't think I would. I'm quite an impatient crafter. No, that is not the way to describe me. I'm not an impatient crafter. Um, I am a busy crafter. I'm a busy mum. Um, obviously, this is what I do full time, hence why I'm bringing you five videos a week. Um, but I also have a, a an amazing incredible team um, there's 500 of my team a lot of them so I am very busy with the bit of my job that is 
goes on behind the scenes and that you don't see. And so I don't have as much time to craft as I'd love to. So I'm a kind of get it done quickly kind of girl. Can you see the colours are changing? I really hope you can. I really, really, really hope you can. Um, coming back into the final one. I also, coming back to, you know, my style of crafting, I kind of think that there's a lot of folk out there who are very busy with their day job and want to craft but don't necessarily want to spend three evenings making one project. Um, you know, they, they simply want to get it out there. Okay, I really hope you can see the difference in colour. That's quite pink, whereas that's this beautiful purple posy shade. I really hope you can see all of that. Did I get the lids the right way around? I did. Phew. Okay, so I'm going to come in with my um, flirty flamingo on those flowers. I'm not worrying about blending it overly much because they're so tiny. And then my crumb cake for the branch. Then I've got my light call me clover for the leaves. And I'm just blobbing it for the moment. A little bit along there. A tiny little bit there. I always forget, I always miss bits. So at the moment I'm just blobbing it. And I'm going to let the dark one do the hard work. And I'll be a bit more careful on this. And Concentrating, not speaking. Okay, there's a cat on the move. I heard it. And then finally, which I completely forgot to get out, I have a little bit of this is so saffron light, just for the beaks. And they're done. So lovely. Right. I think it's cross I can zoom out. Oh, I can. My computer, uh, my computer, my camera hasn't gone, mm, don't want to do that. Okay, so that's now going to sit on the front. So I'm going to have some um, uh, dimensions, but I want to run them along the top because I don't want to stick it both sides. So, kind of in the upper, th upper third, upper half. So there, done. Super, super cute. Oh, I don't know which one I like better, the lovely lipstick or the purple posy. I love them both, they're gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> oh look at almost 20 minutes. I hope nobody got bored. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.